Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for another Alice in Chains lesson. And we're still smashing through the Dirt album, so we're up to now track number seven, I think this is, uh, Junkhead, which is an absolutely brilliant tune. Nice and easy as well. Not a lot to it, so let's get on with it, shall we? Now, tone, I'm going for this. <laughs> Okay, that's what we're looking at. It's a meaty one. I'm using my Friedman VEOD for this. Now, there is a pedal board build video coming very soon. I'm still figuring stuff out, so it is in progress. Now, I've spent a bit of time mucking around with my amp settings and the pedal settings, so I'll give you a close up of what I'm doing EQ wise on this bad boy. And interestingly, I'm going for voice one. Voice two was just a bit too kind of mid rangey, so. I've gone with that, that America. I think voice one is like a, a US type sound and Jerry uses Friedman amps, so that makes sense. Voice two is more of a British mid-range kind of thing. And here's the settings for the Friedman. We're also gonna be using a whammy and the whammy is used for this bit, the kind of solo. <laughs> it is set to one octave above what I'm playing. Uh, when the uh, pedal is in toe position, okay, so fully forward. So, without further ado, the intro riff. <laughs> into a palm muty bit but Matt I hear you say what about this bit I definitely hear some of that going on there well you are right you do so there is a second guitar that doubles up with Lane's vocal I think one guitar just plays it straight like that so you got chords for the first bit and then the single note bit in between but you can play power chords for the whole lot if you if you wish. So my favourite way of playing power chords is my first and my fourth fingers. So if you play it with your first third and fourth, like this, then you can do that bend. So don't bend the first finger, just the third and the fourth, and they're gonna go half a step and down. Oops, and make sure you get it on that on that G string. There's quite a bit of vibrato. And then for the uh, the F sharp, which is second fret on the E. You can do that. Or you can play the power chord. Up to you. Oh, then the verse riff. Now the verse riff is exactly the same, but it's just all palm muted, so it's It's hanging around for a while, isn't it, right? So there's quite a lot of decay. I think it's decay. Is decay the length of a note? I'll look it up. It might be decay. I think when he's palm muting, he's definitely playing... He's playing the power chord for that part, okay? So, um, again, another option for you. Um, but essentially, just palm mute it and play the same riff. Now annoyingly, halfway through recording this, the sound has changed, so I suspect I might need to change some preamp valves or something like that, so I'm going to turn the treble down a bit. We'll go with that. Okay, so the chorus. Plays 
that four times, basically. Now, that is a superb riff. Very, very Jerry. Um, very Jerry. So, it's a very basic chord. It's an A. The C add 9. Put the little finger on the third fret on the E string if you want, the top E. Into a G. Into an F power chord. And from there you're going to play that run. And that is what Mr. Cantrell is all about for me. Is the little runs that he puts in between these uh, these chords are just amazing. So, so the chords are very simple. A to C. D to F. But there's a bit of strumming in between, okay? So you can chuck that in. I haven't tabbed all that out, so... You know, just, just feel it. Now that rundown, if you play the F chord... with your first, third and fourth fingers... You can start the rundown with your little finger on that third fret. So that's three, two, zero on the D string. And then you've got C, on the third fret on the A string. Open D, and then the G on the A string. Finish up with your second finger on that, um, that G. You're nicely positioned to go back into the A. And then the only other bit is the solo. So um, I'm going to play it without the whammy first. So that goes. Recognise that bit. It's straight out of the chorus. Straight out of chorus. Sorry. Anyway. Um, very cool. So, you're going to play. Then there's these bends. The first one's easy enough. But then you're going to go to the third fret. From the bend. You don't release the second one. Then that run down. And you play that four times round. Now here's how it sounds with the um, the harmony octave. And then you play all that round again, uh, and that's it. There are no other parts. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Nice and easy one, I think, um, but some awesome, awesome stuff in there, and hopefully that helps you nail the tone as well. That's it for me anyway. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.